Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for September the 11th of 2020, well, it is titled The Reappearance of Mars. So what do we see here? Well, this is the image of the end of an occultation of Mars by the moon that occurred just a few days ago on September the 6th. Now, an occultation occurs when one astronomical object passes in front of another. So, the moon is quite common for occultations because it is large, about half a degree in size, and it is closer to us than other objects. Certainly, an object further away cannot pass in front of a closer object. So, the moon can pass in front of the planets or stars or other objects and block out their light temporarily. And this occurs quite often for the moon and the planets because they're all essentially in the same plane. So, they follow roughly the same path around the sun. And that means that they often come very close together in the sky and that there is more likely a chance for them to occult one another. Now, this occurred and was visible from Brazil, and this was actually the fourth time this year that the moon occulted Mars. So, they're actually very close to the same area right now. And there will be one more occultation on October the 3rd, when the moon will again pass in front of Mars and block it out. However, in order to see an occultation, you have to be in the right positioning. So, in a way, like an eclipse, it doesn't occur for everybody that can see the two objects. You have to have everything lined up as well. And because of parallax, depending on where you are on the Earth, the position of the moon will change slightly. So, for an observer in the northern hemisphere, you will not be able to see the occultation. But those in the southern hemisphere, at least at specific locations, will be able to see the moon pass in front of Mars. And what you would have seen was, of course, the moon uh, passing in front of Mars on the other side here. And then this is the region where it comes back out and Mars reappears. And you can see, of course, the structures on each of the two objects. You can see those shadows areas on the moon uh, of the lunar craters. And then much further away, off in the distance, you can see Mars with lighter and darker areas on it as well. So again, a chance if you, ha if you happen to be in the right locations, there's one more chance to be able to observe an occultation of Mars by the moon uh, coming up next month. So that was our picture of the day for September the 11th of 2020. It was titled The Reappearance of Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be 1,000 meteors. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.